Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehi, the reason you see. Home an official autopsy report today confirmed the death of Sonia Massey was indeed a homicide. Sonia Massey, a 36 year old black woman who died of a gunshot wound to the head after she was shot by police inside her own apartment. And officials say the mother of two called 911 herself to report a suspicious person before things escalated. And we want to warn you, the video may be difficult to watch. Huh? Uh, away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I would you in the name of Jesus. You better f***ing not. I swear to God, I'll f***ing 18 shots fired. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! So the police department quickly fired the officer who pulled the trigger, Deputy Sean Grayson. He was then indicted for first-degree murder and aggravated battery. Today, the family of Massey called for more accountability and justice. They told me that they were going to go there to help her, and then this happens. So she was seeking help. She needed a helping hand, not a bullet to the face. Was Sonia Massey for people who don't know her? She was very smart, and she's always helping everybody but herself. She really was a homebody and a good mom. Malachi, what was your mom like? She was just a ball of love, honestly, to me. She cooked me the best food. I love her food. She was just a ball of energy, like a ball of energy. She could talk to anybody, you know? She's just a, the, the most loving person ever. Does it feel like she's gone? No. This is feeling surreal to me right now. I'm, she had lupus and stuff like that, so I would never think she would pass from like anything like this. I would think it was from that, but she would always tell me that if she did pass, just be strong. That's all I could do for her. It's not real. This can't be real. I don't know how this could be real. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, man, hey, man, listen, man, this one here, this one here I didn't even want to speak on. My wife, she brought this subject to me as soon as it happened. Everybody was sharing it online, and it was just a difficult one for me to even embrace, you know. Um, I still, like I said, I, I talk about everything else, so I had to say something, you know. Developing uh, information is popping out. Um, they've got an autopsy report back, whatever, you know. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This is you don't you you know what happened. You see what happened. There there is nothing in the world that can deter you from seeing that video and what happened. And the problem I have with it is it's not only this time to happen, but it happens countless amount of times. When you look at uh, what happened with Tanya Massey and you see how this guy Sean did what he done. And there was pretty much a thing where she rebuked him in the name of Jesus. And he basically goes off to hand you better not, better not what you in here with two men who you've been called out to protect this woman and you end up killing this woman. And there's countless amount of times where I go to it, whether it be my store, whether I come in my house and in the back of my mind, I'm feeling like if I hit that alarm button and something goes wrong and the police is dispatched to my house, it's a free kill for them. And I hate to say that because all police are not like that. But the fact that some are like that, it is a terrifying thing when you have kids. My son is named Malachi, just like Sonya's son is named Malachi and his mother or something happened with her. I can only imagine what these people are going through. And so it's just a horrible, horrible thing to see what they've had to experience in dealing with this. And I just feel bad for them. And I had to say something and I've been wanting to say something, but I just didn't really know what to say because you can't say nothing to make it right. You can't say anything to make it right. This guy comes out. He doesn't have his body cam on. You can clearly see this come from the other guy's body cam. The other officer had his body cam on. This guy didn't. And then he goes in and he's, he's very, very flagrant and arrogant with the way that he's speaking. Anyway, if you listen to a tonality in his voice, will we get justice? I don't know. Before it's Kamala Harris and before it's Trump, before it's the speaking on what they'll do for our people that Kamala's already said outright, she's not doing nothing for our people, uh, for her black people. She's not doing nothing specifically for black people. I get it. You're trying to appeal to whoever Trump, uh, Obama was kind of the same way. I get it. That's fine. But quit acting like you for us. 
You're not for us if you're not going to look out for us. We got to look out for each other. They have bills for every other group of people out there. Do something for the people, man, for our people. Uh, uh, and I say our because I'm black. Now, at the end of the day, you look over here at Trump. Trump said he's going to exonerate, pardon, all officers that's been locked up for this type of fiasco. What are we going to do, man? We can't do nothing. It ain't this. Our hands are tied. You can go out and vote all you want to, but it's not going to change the fact that nobody cares, man. So we got to lift up ourselves, pull ourselves together, latch our bootstraps, come up with ways to strategize in our neighborhoods to protect each other. That's all I can think of. I just feel so bad for Malachi as he speaks for the fact of his mother. She had lupus and he thought it may happen some other way, but not like this. But he remember what his mother told him. He think back like the prodigal son did when he thought about how many high servants do my father got. And, and he goes back to a memory in his memory bank of what she had told him. And one of the things she told him is some of the things I tell my children. You have to go on. There ain't nothing I can do to help you, but you can help me by moving forward and pushing forward because I put you here for that purpose and that purpose alone. To, to strive to be something that can be credible in this human race, Malachi. You can't, you can't do nothing but represent her in the right way now, man. And if, and if that family see this video and if you reach out to me, anything that I can do to help, I'm here for you. I don't care. You can call me. My number is everywhere. And you can look me up and you'll see. And if you reach out to me and say, hey, man, I need this or I need that, watch what happened. Because that's why I'm here anyway. So at the end of the day, man, the Massey family, all you got to do is pick up the phone and call. Boss Talk 101, I, I'm, I'm going to try to help the best I can. Whatever you need. So all I'm saying is, man, God, help these people, man. I pray that you help this family to be strong in the midst of this situation. And all the families, that anybody from Trayvon Martin to all of those people that we went to, the Blanton woman, everybody's family. I've been praying for these families for years. And it's just ridiculous what they're what what they, what's happening. And I don't know what else to say, because at the end of the day, the day after the end. Um, wasn't right what happened to Sonya. And I don't know what to do. The mother cries. Ain't, ain't nothing you can do to bring her back. But all I can say is you got to live on and be strong. And that's all that I can tell you, because, like I said, you guys seem to have a family that that's just a regular family like mine, just uh, people who trying to make it, man. And you could see Sonya was uh, that apartment, you know, what what did what threat did she have for this guy? What did she do to this guy? Nothing. Guys, man, make sure you guys, man, do something, send a like, send a comment. Maybe their family might see it. Do something. Um, Share this, man, to as many people as you can, man. Um, what that officer did was truly wrong. And didn't even want to run the first aid. Didn't even care to even approach it in that way. Guys, I don't know what else to say. Man, like, subscribe to the channel, man. Share my stuff, bro. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, reason you see